guys, I'm back for another review. Today I am reviewing Clinique's Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. It is a high-end foundation, however the price range isn't as bad for high-end. I bought this for $23 at Sephora. They have a pretty good selection of colors, I want to say about 19 or 20 colors available. Uh, the color I am using today is in Golden Neutral and it is one fluid ounce which is typical of foundations. It says in the back here that it is oil controlling makeup, absorbs shine so skin looks fresh, flawless all day. Lightweight gel cream formula wears beautifully and comfortably oil free and is perfect for all but for dry skin. So the package is just simple. It is an easy squeeze out tube and um, I like it. It seems really convenient for travel, especially. All I did so far was moisturize my skin. I do have some flaws. Uh, of course, you got my, it's basically a scar now underneath my nose, on my chin, and then just some uneven spots, a little dark on the under eyes. Um, so let's see how well this conceals. It's not as thick as I anticipated it to be. It's pretty liquidy. Okay, it goes on very easily and smooth. So comparing to my left side, it looks like it has pretty good coverage and it does it is definitely matte. You can see my left side is quite shiny. And you know, it, it does look like makeup. It doesn't look natural per se, but my skin does look flawless. And it feels quite soft, so I imagine applying makeup over this will be nice and smooth. I didn't apply too much makeup to get this amount of coverage, so a little does go a long way. And it does pretty well with evening out my skin tone on my left side. You can see the redness around my nose and little red dots, and my right side is just nice and concealed. I'm gonna even out the rest of my face and apply makeup, and I'll be right back. So it's been a good 15 minutes, and my foundation is very well set by now. Let's see how it looks. You know, I do see some dry patches, uh, especially on my nose. But of course, my oily spot, which is my T-zone, my forehead, looks perfect. Um, some dry patches on my nose and a bit on my chin. So it looks like I didn't moisturize well enough. And I only notice these patches when I'm looking close into a mirror. If you're talking to somebody, right up close they would be able to notice it as well but from a distance the foundation does look flawless it looks good other than that everything else looks pretty good so uh let's go on with our day it is just about two o'clock i'll check back in a few hours back for an update it is around six o'clock p.m let's see how my foundation looks Not too shabby. I love it. I don't feel too shiny at all. My blush is still on. It's still vibrant, even though I felt like I just put a little bit on, but you can still see the color. Um, I don't feel oily. I love it. I really, really do like this foundation so far. Everything looks pretty concealed except for, except for my scar from a zit that I had. Um, I was scratching my nose earlier. I could have rubbed off the foundation. That's the only thing though. But around my nose area, it's not red at all. The foundation pretty much stayed matte. You can see my highlighter from when I highlighted my face earlier. But other than that, I don't feel oily. I'm not oily, I'm not shiny. So I'm very pleased with it so far. So I will check back at the end of the night. So it's the end of the night. It is just about 11 o'clock. My zit is totally exposed. But for the most part, actually everything else looks amazing. I can still see my blush. The redness on the side of my nose is still concealed. I don't look oily. I see um, it's t not totally matte anymore. Like on my, especially on my forehead, I could see some light bouncing off my face. But it's not not sick not nothing too significant so i really like it i think this is a perfect foundation for me definitely not gonna work for 
those with dry skin. Um, you know, I had like a dry patch on my nose and it totally stands out. Overall, I think this is an amazing foundation. I would definitely repurchase it. It evens out my skin tone. It has awesome coverage. I like how it is affordable for high-end makeup. So not affordable in general. I mean, it's 23 bucks. Well, that is it for my review. If you found this video helpful, please do thumbs up and also comment below what video you would like to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.